Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of the broadcast where we give you bite-sized bits of best practices to help you be a better leader and a more effective communicator. I'm your host, Jarrett Bro. Here's a discussion question that we asked earlier this week on social media as we were looking for your professional opinion. The question we asked is, what should you do with your hands during a media interview? Here are some of the interesting responses we got this week. Ken says, be natural and expressive. Keep your hands away from your face, out of your pockets, and don't fidget. Mark says, do not point. Do not twist them. Do not fidget. Don't play with your pen. Don't play with your watch. Don't play with your cuffs. All good points, Mark. Dave says, if you're standing, use your hands as you would a normal conversation. And if you're sitting, do the very same thing. Be comfortable. Corporate history says that she learned the technique known as home base from a presentation trainer by the name of Joan Dietz. So home base is when you bring your hands back to the center and then relaunch them when you talk. My friend Jane over on the far side of the world in Australia says it really differs for her and her clients based on what they're doing. If it's happy talk, use your hands more. If it's a neutral audience, use your hands less. Let me tell you where I agree. First of all, the one about don't put your hands in front of your face. Let me tell you a quick story in that. I had a CEO from New York City who was born and raised in Texas. He was a real cowboy, and he brought me in for a media training discussion before he hired me. And he said, you got to fix my spokesperson. I said, what do you mean by fix him? He said, you're going to see. So just to test things out, we actually went in and shot a fake news story at his corporate facility before we did the media training. And I sat down with the spokesperson that he said I had to fix. And I asked about a competitor moving into town. No lie. The spokesperson said, well, new is fresh and fresh is good. People love fresh. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And I immediately knew what he meant by fix. We edited the fake news story together, meaning I put it together. I walked into the media training class. I said, look, guys, I was not with CNBC. I was pretending to be with CNBC, and we did a fake news story. And here's what you would have looked like if it had actually hit the air. And the guy saw his hands flailing, and he said, oh, my God, do I always do that? And I went, yes, you do. And he says, how do I stop doing this? And I said, stop doing this with your hands. Just put them down. So by the end of the media training class, we had him talking naturally. The secret is don't point at people. That's taken out of context. Don't do the thumb like Bill Clinton does. Some coach taught him to do that to keep Bill Clinton from wagging his finger. The most natural thing you can do is gesture outward and use your palms up. That's a friendly sign. Keep this in mind. If you need to make three points, point one is this, point two is this, and point three is this, you can use your hands to actually do the counting. But most important, keep them between, say, your belly button and your shoulders. As long as you work that zone, you're going to be in a safe place. Don't use your hand gesturing away with the palm down. That means I'm an authority and you're less than I am. Hands up. They welcome you. They bring you in. It's the easiest way to do it. I hope these tips have been helpful for you. I want to thank you all who participated this week in the broadcast. We'll be back next week with another question. For the broadcast, I'm Jarrett Brough.